Hello friends, welcome to Apache Hadoop interview question series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question. The question is, what is the difference between name node, backup node and checkpoint name node in HDFS? So we have different kinds of nodes in HDFS and this is again like a theoretical come practical question. It can be asked in an interview to test your deep knowledge and wide knowledge about the Hadoop and HDFS. So if you have worked, you must be knowing about this. And if you haven't, like still you can understand these so that you can prepare well for your interview. So let's see the answer. So there are different nodes like name node, backup node, check my name node. So the difference is the name node is at the heart of HDFS file system. It's at the heart. And this is the node that is managing the metadata. So all the data of the files is not stored on the name node, rather on the other nodes. But the name node is, has the directory tree of all the files that represent in HDFS file system on a Hadoop cluster. So it's like a central node that knows about all other nodes, what data is stored there. So whenever we store some data, it passes through the name node. Name node knows that, okay, this is the data which is going into this node, or this node data is going into some other node. So it manages the whole directory tree so that whenever we want to get details we just call the name node and get the details from name node so name node uses mainly two files for the namespace first is fs image file in this file we keep track of the latest checkpoint of the namespace so that like whenever we add any file add any data so we keep on creating a fs image file which is the latest checkpoint like up to what last point the data has been stored then we have edits file and in this file we have a log of all the changes that are made to the namespace since that checkpoint so if checkpoint is the one like even if system goes down we can recreate it and this edits file which contains all the logs that are changed into the namespace after the last checkpoint so these are the two main files then we have checkpoint node the checkpoint node keeps track of the latest checkpoint in a directory that has same structure as that of name nodes directory so checkpoint node keeps creating the checkpoints for the namespace at regular intervals by downloading the edits and fs image file from the name node and merging it locally so let's say you have a checkpoint in the name node and you have a edits file now to merge them we do not use the name node rather checkpoint node is the one which merges them creates a new checkpoint and then it it says oh this is the new checkpoint and then it updates to the active name node that now we have a new checkpoint from then onwards we have a new edits file so this is how it works like so there is a checkpoint node which is merging and creating the new checkpoints and it keeps downloading all the edits and fs image from the name node file and keep merging it locally in the checkpoint node and then informing the name node that this is the new checkpoint then we have backup node so the backup node is also providing the functionality of checkpointing like a checkpoint node but it also maintains up-to-date in-memory copy of the file system namespace and it is in sync with the active name node so backup node is not creating the checkpoints like checkpoint node but it's what it does is that it just keeps the up-to-date in-memory copy of whatever was in the file system that was coming to the name node it maintains the same copy with the within its own system also so that is the purpose of backup node so these are the differences between backup node checkpoint node and name node